52, how are you folks? It's just a chat with these guys inside. And, um... <laughs> that is the first time I've ever done that. I just took off with my kickstand down. Holy crap. Have you ever done that? Focus, Bonine, focus. Well, anyway, I was just talking to these guys and um, talking about the numbers of bikes that were outside today and out riding. They are talking about where they're going and uh, there's a group of about five or six of them. Ooh, it's an odd place to take a nap. And uh, a group just went out before I, before I uh, ended up filling up. And they said they were together and told me they were riding. And they said, hey, you're welcome to join us. And I'm like, man, that's pretty cool. No, I got some other plans. But uh, thank you. I appreciate that. And it made me think about, is it really that hard to find motorcycle friends to ride with? Or do you just not want that? So if you follow my channel, you'll know a good buddy of mine is Harley Dayrider, the HDR, the godfather of motor vlogging. And uh, I, for years I lived, a couple years I lived in Pittsburgh, and that's where we uh, we met on YouTube, but ended up uh, being buddies from that and riding together. We've went on vacations together, and, and um, you know, we've always been joking that since I moved away... Um, and since his buddy Henry sold his bike, I'm, should I do a drive-by? No. Um, he doesn't have anybody to ride with anymore. Because a lot of the folks from around that area are not, you know, um, he doesn't know. or And, and a Harley Day Rider and his bride are just about the nicest people in the world, right? So it's, it's not like people are like, oh, what a jerk, I don't want to ride with that guy. And uh, so we started kind of joking about it with, uh, and that's where I coined the phrase, hashtag ride with Jack, right? Or hashtag ride with Harley Day Rider. And uh, it made me think, and he was talking about, you know, it's not necessarily super easy to find people to ride with. Um, and so let's first go down the road is, do we even want that? So I will tell you for me, um, I would tell you 90% of the time I don't want that. I want to ride by myself. I want to ride to maybe meet a group somewhere. Uh, me and Mrs. Bodine riding. Isn't that beautiful. Um, I don't want to ride with other folks. I will tell you in this past year, uh, two guys that have uh, channels um, have reached out and said, hey, let's go riding, right? Uh, Ricky KM was one of them. Um... Man, the other one just slips my brain. It stinks to get old, but I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to um, put links to their channels as well. Both good guys. And I really liked uh, going for a ride. Now, with Ricky, we rode a couple times together. We're talking about doing some rides um, in the uh, in into the new year. So that's kind of cool because there's a couple guys that, uh, that are local. And I know a lot of you that live in Michigan that have followed my channel have reached out and a couple folks NBA rider we just haven't been able to uh, blacked out band and we just haven't been able to connect yet to ride but we got to do that uh, one because you can tell that these are good guys good people whether you're a guy or a gal but and I guess it doesn't feel like it's that hard to find somebody to ride with if that's what you want now you may ride with somebody and go eh, good guy you know, hey, it was fun riding, but just not my style. Or maybe it has a different type of bike, or maybe a different generation, or I don't know. Maybe just like, ah, who cares? You ride a couple times. It's it's not like you're hanging out all the time, right? Isn't that beautiful? Um, but sometimes I don't think it's that difficult. But then you go and you look at okay, there's um, Harley Owners Group. I know that I'm sure Indian and and um, Honda, uh, Goldwingers, and all those folks have a group as well that you can go to and find the people that you want to ride with. And uh, and I think that's really cool. And I, to me, it's like, hey, if, if I can find two or three people that I can ride with every now and then, it's perfect. But then I'm not having to, then I'm not hanging out with all the time, right? 
Um, example, I talked about Ricky. Ricky's a fun guy to hang out with. He rides an Indian. And, uh, you know, we went out to lunch and did some other rides. Just just a super good guy, and that's fun, right? We rode together, I think, twice this past year, I think it is, right? And that was fun. We probably would ride more, but we both had stuff going on. Um, but I don't know that it's that hard. So I think you can, I think there's a couple of things. I think you can find people in these owners groups. Um, obviously, you can find people back at that gas station. <laughs> um, and I think it's just being open-minded to it, right? Um, you know, obviously not pressing people to... Uh, to ride with them, but I think if you, as you just talk to more and more people in the community, I think you find people that you want to ride with, or that that uh, will want to, you know, there's probably people just like you that are going, you know, I wish Harley Day Rider would call me and we could go riding together, right? And maybe that's what everybody should do. Go to Harley Day Rider's channel and hit, hey, let's ride together next year, hashtag ride with Jack, right? Um... Because it'll be beneficial for him, it'll be beneficial for you. And I, I'm just saying, I, I also want everybody that's in Michigan, you know, as the spring comes up, hey, reach out. I know a bunch of you have, and we just haven't all connected yet. Let's get a ride together, you know. Um, go somewhere in Michigan here and, and get to know each other and, and ride when we can. And and uh, I just think it's such a benefit. And so you can go to the Hog Chapter. Um, I think the other thing is use YouTube. There's so many people that ride that maybe live in your area that you can go ahead and ride with that would, you know, think about it. Most motorcycle folks have a similar interest that brings us together. Whether you have, uh, no matter what you do in life, no matter what your gender is, no matter if you have, you know, 50 tattoos or no tattoos, it doesn't matter. We are, there's something about this community that brings us together that really doesn't matter. Now, of course, there's some folks that are different uh, style than you or, or have different goals or whatever, how you would normally choose friends, but I don't know that it's that hard to find somebody to ride with. Um, Unless you're not open to it, because I think you can do that, and I think there's ways to, to find those folks. What I would like, if you guys don't mind, is, one, if you can leave it in the comments, one is, do you like to ride with somebody else, right? Not on the bike, but somebody occasionally that maybe that you don't know, or that you just met, and they're like, hey, we're all going on this ride, and we're all going to have lunch, or we're all going out to this memorial, or... You want to ride out together, you know, how, how many of you would rather just go by yourself? Or are you like me, that you're kind of 80, 20, 90, 10, ride by myself, 10%, 20% ride with somebody else? Now, I will tell you that I much prefer two or three buddies that I that I could ride with. I mean, that's just more my style, but I'm, I'm you know, blacked out band, an NBA rider, a bunch of the other folks in Michigan that follow me. I'm going to commit to doing a better job of that next year and just going out and riding, maybe breaking bread and, you know, sharing the real cool thing we do called motorcycle riding. But let me, so the number one is, do you want to do that? Number two is, do you find it hard to get people to ride with uh, if you do want to ride with others? And three, what suggestions do you have that you can give people? Because I'm not sure now that I'm thinking about that I gave you a lot other than, you know, go to Hog Chapter or or uh, go on to YouTube or, heck, I've even seen, even though I've spent a lot of time there, people on Facebook, uh, there's some, uh, there's like a Michigan Riders Club here in Michigan, so there's thousands of people that ride all over the state. I mean, that's another really good one to go on rides and meet some people and ride, and you, you, you come and go if you want on those. It's not like it's a big commitment, and uh, I just think there's a lot of options to do that, and I'd love to hear from you on some of the options that you see that uh, you think would help somebody that's going, you know, I love riding by myself, but every now and then it'd be nice to, you know, ride with a couple guys or a couple gals or another couple. Um, you know, we ride, Mrs. Bodine and I ride with other um, other couples at times as well, which is, which is really super cool, so... 
that is what I was thinking. I love your feedback on that. And, and hey, I do want to say um, that uh, many of you that are that know me well know my uh, my father-in-law or my mother-in-law passed away recently. And thank you for all the kind words. This is Bodine. Really, for the last year, has been going back and forth to Maryland to help uh, take care of her mom and dad, and they lived with us for a while and until they moved back. And uh, you know, it it, it made me uh, do a lot of soul searching. I guess anytime you you use a loved one or lose a, a loved one, that you just kind of go, hey, you know, what's really important in my life, and uh, you know what what uh, you know. What I really need to be focused at, and maybe just don't get upset about the things that are really not that big of a deal, and uh, make sure that you're focusing on family and friends. And um, to me, that uh, it's it's uh, it stinks that you have to have a reminder of that. But I, I wanted to mention it not to uh, be a bummer at the end of this video, but just my way to say thanks and encourage everybody. And and you know, I'm not a preacher of things on YouTube, but you know, reach out to a, a buddy or a family or a girlfriend, uh, whoever that, you know, may just need uh, somebody to call and check on them because you never know when the uh, when the end is uh, comes upon you fast. So be safe out there, everybody. Again, check on a friend. Thanks for spending your time a little bit watching me babble on today. Again, thanks for all the uh, thoughts and prayers from everybody. And uh, be safe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, folks.